Hey everybody, I'm Steph. I'm Michael. Today we're checking out Kelte. And if you missed the rules teach, uh, then hey, check out the other video. This is the playthrough. Yes. Um, and uh, as we mentioned before, Pythagoras was kind enough to uh, send us this copy of Kelte, but not in exchange for this video. They just know that we like to show you guys all, all the, the games. games. That's right. So, uh, one rules thing I want to point out as you switch to the overhead one rule that I forgot during the rules video, it's a minor one, but I hate leaving anything out. Uh, after you have moved, if you want to spend a strength point, you can get rid of the three workers uh. in the area where you're wanting to take the action. These will come out and you will get three new ones drawn at random from the bag. So keep in mind that that is an option that is available to you and then actually these go back in the bag and then you draw uh it's not like some games where you keep them out yeah but you know it what are you know in. exactly what's coming out already yeah, exactly so it's not like it hurts you any right so you are the first player because you have the uh yep i'm gonna move two spaces what is that two tatis tile yeah two spaces please two spaces one two you get no Strength. I'm swapping that you are out. definitely going to swap one of these out. Doesn't matter which one she swaps, because, hey, they're all the same. And then I'm going to put two in here, right? Yeah, well the, well, the first thing you do... Yeah, the first thing you do is put one in. Then, for every druid you have, either here or here, you still get another one. How about that? And I'll take blue and yellow from the middle. But you can take... I could take a blue, replace it... You can, if that's what you want to do, but... That's fine. Since you already know what colors are out there, and you know what you want to do, how about that? I might have wanted two blue, but yeah. You might not. I don't know. See? Look, that was half a round. <laughs> I mean, it can, it's, it can go, go really fast. fast. It can definitely go fast. But Michael might want to slow walk it, because you get strength if you slow walk it. Well, uh, considering I have a military guy, I might want to slow walk, slow, slow walk it and save my strength, so to That's speak. right. Um, plus, I might want more cards. Uh, keep in mind that, um, that there is no hand limit for cards. There is a tribe limit of eight, because that's all the spots you can hold. It's still hard to get cards. Yes. Yes, it is. I am indeed going to slow walk. I am going to swap one out. Well, I better get farmers because... Cards are important. Cards are important. I'm going to get this. Absolutely. And then I can get two more. And, uh, you know, I think these two are just fine, actually. Uh, I think I'll take... Which of these do I want? How about these two? Same color. You are making a yeah, mess. Yeah, I'm not going to mess. You need to be like less crazy. All right. I will move two spaces. Did I do everything I'm supposed to do? I didn't get my strength. Two spaces. You have crossed the river. I'm going to throw this and take the. You have crossed the river. It's at the end of my turn. I mean, look at that. I do not think that is the truth. Okay. During the game, every time a player moves the action marker from the northern region into the southern region, means the river was crossed from the right side of the board and the action marker is returned to or passed by its starting position, progress is triggered. And the Celts will advance their civilization in pursuit of more interesting endeavors. Now. Right now. Right as minute now. Put a progress on the pink. Put a progress on the pink. And then I get to put three in. That's what they're saying. Or five. four. I don't have four, so. Mm, you can't ever do more than three. I guess I'm doing that. How about that? Uh, all right. I'm going to take one at a time. Hmm. Need to refill it. 
You need me to refill one at a time. Yep. How about this nice soldier? No, I'll take the green. How about this nice green? I guess I'll take the green. How about that nice green? Replacing it with a nice soldier. Wow. We did it! And then what? Don't know. I looked at it. I'm going to go here. I am going to replace this with this. Uh, I'm going to put this here and follow it with this here. Oh, look. I think I'm going to do this. Okay. That's these two. Back to the bag. Yep. I will get Yawn Druid. Oh, I forgot. I get that strength point, too. Take this. Flop it right here. And now I get two things. That looks nice. What else we got? Uh, I like a choice, I think. Uh, you know what? I'm coming up on some more military stuff. You might pass it by, but then I have lots of yellow to choose from anyway. So, I almost did the yellow. It might have been better if these were like black paint on the on the yellow, but you can still see the hammers. I'm gonna slow walk it. Eva says, "Which game? This is Kelte. Unfortunately, the box, which is beautiful, does not have the name on the front." I'm slow walking it. You're slow walking it. Plus one strength. I'm gonna swap that out with the yellow. How about this yellow? Yeah, like that. And then you're going to do this. What are you doing? I'm going to build. How about build? Discard one card. Pink. <laughs> How about a pink? Yeah, you could throw that on the The pink. reason she discarded only one card was because she has one, two, three workers, and she can't be under one, so one it is. And that's it. And that's it. That's my whole turn. That's her whole turn. Yep. Now it's you. Now it's me. It is the same artist. It is the Miko who did the art for this. So, yes, it was similar to Paladins of the West Kingdom and all of the West Kingdom series, really, and all of Shem's games, mm. almost. <laughs> Yeah, I can't stop you from building here unless I... No, I can't. I can't stop you from building there unless I use my bonus token. That might have to just happen anyway. I'm going to move one space. That gets me one strength. And then I'm going to take this little thing. Obviously, going to place it here. Why would I not? Yeah. Good. good. Like for realsies, though. Yep. Yeah, pass me that totem thing. That's whatever. Two tatees. Two tatee. Spanks. Spanks. So, uh, if I trade this out, I'm going to get four points for each one that gets discarded. Because I have three soldiers and this raw chair. Yeah. Um. They all have to have the same symbol. So that gives me eight points, bringing me up to an 11. Wow. Yeah. Setting yourself up for next time, maybe? Yeah, because I'm going to go ahead and get that watchtower as well. Nice. That's the watchtower. I dropped by six. 11 minus six is five. That's another point. Yep. That's another point. That's another point. Can't really use it. 
Kilt. Kilt. K Kilt. Um, I'm just going to go one step. One step. Add in your strength. I'm going to swap this out with the red one. Whoa. They're going to red. How about it? And then? I get to put three in. One, two, three. And I can kill the blue and the green. Blue and green, taking one point. Yeah, I might as well. I mean, sure. And then taking this druid. That's true. And then I've refilled nope. my stuff. That's correct. You cannot ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's um, all have to all combine to the left hand side. I'll take blue. No, okay. I'll take. Mm, mm. Uh, I'll take yellow. Taking yellow. Blue. No, blue. Uh, I'll take red. <laughs> no. <laughs> how about how about blue for your last I'll one? Take blue. Which 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 one would you like? Uh, that one's fine. This one, okay. Uh -huh. It looked like you. I just want to make sure. Yeah, I mean, you know. You know. Cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Go, go, go. I need to farm. Oh, I did my objective for six, boom. Need to farm now the rest of the game. <laughs> I need to farm a little bit. A farmer? I need some farmers. Mm. I'm going to go one space. The farmer. Getting an extra strength. Mm. I'm going to trade one of these guys out with a farmer. Whoa. I now have two farm strength. I'm going to take that. And then maybe... Uh, a little bit of this and uh, a little bit of this. Is this how this works? I'll take the other. That's how it's going to go. That's my turn. All right, I'm going to slow walk it one step. Slow walking. I'm going to take that red one. Taking the red. Nope, sorry. From your military zone. I got to try and hmm. do something about this madness. I have, madness. I have four things. One, two, three, four. Do I do this? I can't answer that one. Oh, my God. All right, it's great. You uh, switch those. I will do it from the region. I'm gonna build this. Yeah, building, building. I don't have that, so can't do that. I'm gonna do this one. Which one's that? Eh, orange. Orange. Orange, as we call it. How yes. about this? Sounds great. Sounds great. Is that it? Yes. Yes, that was a that was a hesitation, right? Yeah, there. I mean, I didn't want to just because. I want to put you at bay with this military business, but I have other things I got to do. Business. I got stuff to do, you know? Can't help you with that. Yeah, the madness. There's some madness going on. It takes its toll, but listen closely. What? Not for very much longer. Okay. That's a lucky. I'm going to go, uh, yes, I can do that. Yes, 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 yes. I'm going to slow walk it. Okay. I'm going to put the progress token on orange. Mm. Sure. Now we, uh, we must choose. <laughs> <laughs> I am concerned I won't get four. I am hopeful I will get four, so I'm doing it. All right, slow walking, it goes up by four. Goes well, up by one, you mean? I mean, up by one, and then yeah. I'm going up by four <laughs> with this. It's like... What? As I'm cheating a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. I'm going to do that and I'm going to take this sold yar. Sold yar. Sold yar. 
And then I'm going to do the miraculous step of discarding only one for four and one more to place the cube. Le cube! Right there. Whoa, and the le cube. And the le cubes. Okay. Uh, and I've done 11. Behold, there's now a 12. Not be old. Be old. <laughs> All right, me. Uh, that's what they say. I'll slow walk it one step. One step. And then and what? Then I'm going to take that green one for that red one. All right. How about that? And then I'm going to throw all these in here. Throw all these in there. Good job, you. And then sell them all for that little thing. <laughs> sell them all. Hey, look. Unfortunately. You did it. I think it is at the end of your turn on the recruit. Um, if you are over eight. Yeah, it is. Um, at the end of the recruit action, you must discard down to eight. And since this is part of the recruit action, she's good. I take it this. <laughs> Whoa. And then I take more. You take more. You have to pull no. them from the back. No. Yes. Okay. Undo it. Yep. I'll take it. Oh, I'll take the yellow? Yep. I guess I'll take the red. What, you don't want any of these blue ones? I'm done with blue. Yeah, whoa! They're for you. I'm done with blue. I'm done with you, blue. Yep. I'm done with blue. Done with blue. It's rough. It's rough. One, two. Buckle my shoe. Three, four. Shut the dough. Shut the dough. Shut the dough. Hold the dough. Because that makes eight. Minus seven is going to be one. And there's a discard. Isn't that great? Isn't that great? I was going to take it. Yeah, Eventually. Eventually. Then happen. Okay. Me. Hey, I got three or more. That's awesome. I guess pff. I'm gonna slow walk it. I got two tatties ready. <clears throat> Boom. Yeah, guess where I'm putting yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a huge guess. It's a huge. Huge. He huge. So I have three green if I take what? a green action. Right? One, two, three. Yes, that's correct. Cool. So I do that. I get this for free. Mm -hmm. And I do one, two, three. Whoa. I guess that's good enough. Good enough. You slide them down. What's this? Didn't you do this? I did this one, which I took. I think you took it from that side. I did. I did not do that one. Whoops. Okay. I did my turn. It's you. It had to be me. It had to be who? It had to be me. Whoa. I am. You know what? Nope. I should just go for the middle. For the middle who? Middle who? Middle he? <laughs> middle high? Middle high? I should do this, maybe. 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 I do actually need some more cards. I know. You've been using a lot of cards. I've been using them like they are going to this turn. Oh, oh. I'm only going to get three cards, though, if I do this. And... It's disappointing. Yeah? Yeah.
Okay, one and two more. How do I get my slow walk in? That's one. Which one of those do I want to take? I think they're both about the same. You. All right, I'm going to go two spaces. One, two. And build. I'm building on the pink region. You're building on the pink. There's that. I get that bonus token. Perfect. You got your two on pink. Yep. Good job, you. Yep. You're on to two tatees. When I swap workers, I swap them where I am, right? Or do I swap them where it is? Where, no, where you land. I want to use this. Ah. Performing the action, must perform. No, I I'm may I'm a choose one of the actions not adjacent to the marker with this. And you may swap one of your active workers with the worker on the action space you have chosen. Mm. So, no, I would not be able to. Mm. Three. Yeah, that's acceptable. I think. I'm going to move one space. To Tady up. I'm putting it on the Me. plus two pink. Here, you just... I did, did. Yeah, this. Right there? Yes. All right. Because why not? <laughs> I am... Obviously not going to change. Because I need... I slow walked. I'm up to three. Six, nine, twelve. And the cube. Whoa! Uh, other side, right? Sorry? You put the cube... Oh, you're using your token to take the action on that side of the banks? Yes. Okay. Because I have to in order to get it over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I could do this and do this and place this. But I'm already going to get one more two tatties, and we all know where it's going to be. Right. So I don't think I need those as much. So I think I'm just going to use the bonus token for that. Cool. Because those progress markers do not really give you anything. Right. So now I'm down, back down to one. Huh. Are you danning these? Yes, you are. I'm going to slow walk it. Danning it every time. Oh, whatever. Slow walking it. And building. Orange. There. Whoa. Perfect. Okay. That was my whole turn. Hmm. I'm going to go here. I'm going to trade out this. Then I think I'm just going to drop in. Drop in. Okay. Whoa. Huh. Is that what I want to do? Is that what I want to do? And my strong. I have to be, have to be strong. Nice and strong. Okay. Um, 
One for the automatic, one for the noble that I have. Uh, and then I'm going to draw this. See what pops out. Hmm. See. I don't need any more military for reasons. I mean, I could do more, but eh. I'm gonna slow walk it. Slow walking. And I'm gonna take a military action. Whoa! Good job, you. So I'm at seven. I can discard basically anything for three. That's correct. And then discard a watchtower for cube. That's what I'm... The, the cube won't do anything for me, so I'm not going to do that. Okay, sounds good, too. Okay, so I'm discarding a card for um, three military. Yeah, you have to... At the end of the game, you have to have... Uh, uh, Double-checking. Yeah, where you have most are tied for the most garrison cubes. Gain one point for each cube. So you would basically be stopping me from getting more, but... Is yeah. it, it is still one point for a cube that's out there? If you have the most or tied for most, which you, oh, will, yes. which no. you will not. Yeah, so I'm just going to take the get the, the 10. And I get to place that cool pillar thingy. Cool pillar thingy, yes. And it's going to go on... Yeah, I might as well. Well, I mean, I do have a chance of getting that, but... Yeah. Sure, that's fine. That is up to you. All right, let's do orange. The orange one. That's less likely to happen. That's correct. That was me. That was you. I am probably going to move forward a couple spaces. Yeah. Yeah. Again, I'm trying to fill this up because, I mean, why not, right? So that will be it, though, right? Like you cross the river and you finish your turn. And then we each do a double action. Yep. So we're nearing the end. We're nearing the end really quickly. Oh. Wow. I mean, it's a fast game, actually. Yes, yes, it is. Uh, that's a two-point play. Two points is good. There's another play available. I don't want another thing to be put up. Yeah. Yeah, I can't think of any way to get get a decent number of points. I think two is about all I have access to. I could put a token on this, but that would require that I get cards and somehow build down there before you build anything else. It's probably not going to happen. I just can't think of a uh, good way to capitalize on any of that. Cross the river, get the thing back. Is that where I'm stopping? Don't have a lot of good options going here. Placing obviously here. Uh, don't have anything I really want to switch out. So since I have two, I get to place three. Three. 
and then take. Don't want a soldier. Got enough soldiers. Guess I'm taking this soldier. <laughs> and this builder. How about, so how about another soldier? All right, me two actions. Two actions in a row. Don't love it. I wish I had better cards. I wish I had cards. Yeah, me too. Okay, I will go one step. Increasing and... strengths. Yeah, I guess that could be something. Yeah, it could be. I will play this. Which? Gets me... That lovely citadel. Three point three strength. Yeah. And then I will move. I think you got me killed here. Move one step, I guess. And just play a citadel in green. You need another point. Yeah, I did it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, if I get cards, it's a whopping four cards. Could be worse. Because you get the free one. Yeah. No, I get one, two, three, and the free one, so I get four cards. So, yeah, yeah the, also the free one. Yeah. True story. Getting this. I would put in all three. I would lose three for one. Basically, giving me a point gives gives me a, a net point because I lose this point. Well, I'd say if putting the and pillar if, out actually helped you, I would say it doesn't. It doesn't. Well, that's what None I. None of the spots help me. Yeah. I mean, currently where I am, I could place two pillars. No, I can place one pillar because I can't have to get cards and then place one whopping pillar. Which would let me place a thing there, which is nothing. Nothing, 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 nothing. I mean, it's a point, but yes. It is a point, and this is technically also a point. Which gives me a point, though, but yeah. Which gives you a point because it's a completed citadel. Yeah. Yeah, I really don't have any good options. You don't have any cards in hand? Yeah, it's tough. I don't know. One, two. I can't get around one, two, three. If I go one and then I get my third strength, then I would go one, two, three. It's nothing is here. So I can't get the other 12, even if I wanted to. Yeah. Nothing seems like a good play cards in hand every five every five but if i slow walk and take and slow walk and take yeah it's gonna be maybe our best bits of points yep that's probably the best
I mean, technically, this is still a point. Sure. You you qualify for both of those, though. That's the bad part. Yeah, but they're worth zero points. Why is this worth zero points? Because there's no pillars on I'm it. I'm saying if I do oh, this yeah, for course. the two. Yeah, of course. That's... If I do it for the two, I give you one. If I do it for the one, I give you none. Right. It's still only one point play. Um, if I go here, I increase by one. I trade out. Oh, I can't even trade out the green. So I get three cards. It's a half point play. Well, plus the free one, so it's a uh, yeah, it is. It is a four fifths of a point play. Right, and you have the extra points in military to make up for the missing. I'm not talking about the next action. Yeah, that. Uh... So I mean, that gives me that point. Uh, just put getting four extra cards would indeed give me yet another point because it would be four, eight, twelve. So it's just another one point play. So I'll just go here, increase by one, and throw these in. This doesn't really matter. Okay. All right. Nothing left but the crying. Nothing left but the crying. You got the score pad. All right. Uh, Citadels, I believe this is what this is. I get four points. Four points. I get no points. Bonus tiles, two points. Two points. I get no points. Silver. Might as well do silver and red all together. Two, sure. four, five, six, seven for me. Five. Five for you. Cubes, I think that is four points. Four whopping points. Points on board. Four points for me. One, two, three, four, five points for you. Yeah, five points. How is this four? Sorry. One, two, I mean, uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I meant this one here. One, two, three, four. I thought it was just one point. Per if you cube. Had... Okay, if you have most. One point per cube, which is why I was trying to get that. Couldn't get that. Okay. Because I had no cards. Had I been able to go one, two, one, two, three, yeah. and cycle around, but I can't go two and then go three. Right. Because I had two strength. Right. So I couldn't make it around. Yeah. So when I hit three, I couldn't get around to here because there's nothing here. Okay. Which is got it. Why I can make it. All right, I have one point in assorted. Can I make this a military and just gonna do that? No. Okay. No, no points. No points. Uh, this. Uh, you get two, four points. Yeah. I get three points. Yeah. Yeah, you don't get it because you didn't get the last one. I needed three of them. Yeah, and I get three for my leader, and you get three of your leader. Yes, I did my leader's yeah. objective. Yes, you did, because you have six right there. Yep. That's it. <laughs> 7, 11, 15, 16, 19, 22, beating your score, but losing terribly to my score last time. 4, 6, 16, 23, 22 to 23. Wow, it was so close. Holy mackerel. So I was trying to squeeze those points out of the end because there's they're not well, worth all the actions are not worth a great deal. So I was looking for that one extra point, one extra point. Honestly, Had, I was gonna like beat you by a lot. Uh, so not so much. It's because my citadels didn't line up and I lost points by placing a few of them down. But uh in the case of a tie, the winner's the tie player with the most combined total of discs on citadels. And workers in tribes. Okay. So it would have been eight yeah. versus eight plus all of your citadel switches. Yeah, I had six. more. You, I had none. So, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, I was single minded because I had a leader right, and went right. military. 
and my criticism is I'm I'm not sure in order to get all of those points, I'm not I really had to haul butt on it doing nothing else. Otherwise, you end up with the one thing I need, possibly, right? Um, like, for instance, let's say that that military tile up there was, it was the last one I needed, and I couldn't even get to it on my turn, then I'm, I'm screwed for my three points here. Had I gone any slower, meaning I spend more cards for Citadels, or I spend more actions trying to recruit, I think that might have hurt me quite a bit had I done that. Well, yeah, you, so, can, you can't take actions just to take actions. Right. Like, early in the game, I, I almost placed my cube in, a, in an area, and then I'm like, I don't think I'm going to do military, because what if I don't, what if I need this action for something else later? Right. To get cards or something. Right. So I decided not to, but then once there was a, a reason to put a progress token down, well, I got the two points for the military tile and the progress token, so it would it behooved me to actually take that right. action. And the these point. actually been better for me. Maybe I should have taken Caractus, but here's the main reason I didn't take Caractus. I had him last game. Well, or you so, did a st similar strategy last I, game. I did an identical strategy. Is does. There's no way I was going to take that yeah, again. Yeah, you were going to try something new. Yes. Um, And I, I think I took him before I even knew what the objectives were anyway, so that was... I'm like, okay, I'm taking this. I want to make sure I get discs up here. Which you did. You did yeah. that. You... I did that, and I was done in a very quick... It was very quick to get six. Uh, And so then I could focus on doing citadels and other things right. to, to get points. So I think that worked out for me. Um, and, but it is a game you do have to focus, right. for and, sure. You know, maybe I could have grabbed one of those nobles in order to have placed two whopping things up there. But is that a waste of an action for the military guy? Mm. And at that point, again, I'm, I could be losing my points here. I, I think I needed a different batch of objective cards in order for my military strategy to win. By the end. Like you are far off, though. I mean, we, we've had a very that, close That's game. what I'm saying, though. I'm saying that if the objective cards had been different, I would have had a chance to win. I had exactly one objective card right. that was up my alley. Oh, for sure. But None of, And all of the other ones were. But what I'm saying is I had to fight to try and... I, I, I thought I was winning by a lot, but apparently not. So I had to really make sure to get all those points when I could. Right, exactly. And I didn't even realize I needed all those points as... Well, as you did. needed every point you could get, <laughs> but that—I mean, that—that's what makes it. I do think I like this game upon second play a little bit better than our first play, just because I knew what was going on and like I could, you know, get a blue noble and make sure to fill up this. I mean, last game Michael just hosed me because I didn't have any extra workers, and that I had was, like five druids. <laughs> that was really hard for Four me. Four druids. Yeah, it was rough. Uh, uh, yeah, and I didn't flip this guy because I had so many druids, I couldn't flip him. No, you had a different one. You had I I took I took the one out that you had. You had her. Oh. I had the the yes. builder. Oh, I did yes. have the builder. You had the one that directly con conflicted with my builder. <laughs> he wanted a a this last game we played, and so this game I'm like I'm doing something opposite what he's doing. So. <laughs> it's more my my speed. Yeah, but I'm glad we could play it, and I think the game lasted 35 minutes. I mean that is so. The, it was a 35 minute play. I got to say the trend these days is inaccurate times the other direction. Well, um. It, it would have been a 30 minute game if it wasn't for your five minute last minute turn. <laughs> but he had to think about every move. But you see, that one point made the difference. For sure. And technically, it needed to be two points. Yeah. Um, because I didn't have the tiebreaker. Yeah. <laughs> um, but the. Because the points are so few, I almost think you could uh, easily AP it. So I all, get yeah, every little drop of points but that I, you need to. I almost think that the citadel building strategy is superior to the military strategy. Now that I've played we, both of it, neither of us did any military. The first game, the first game we played, right? Now that I've played military, I'm almost certain that 
And again, I haven't play tested it, but the two games we've played, but it seems like the military strategy seems inferior. I think that the garrison scoring was done in order to bump that up a little bit. But if tiebreaker is going to be guys and, and citadels with, with such a small point, I mean, most games, it most be, games are more than 20 points, but I mean, it should be just leftover cards. in hand. There's what we had 20, 28, 22 and 23. This yeah. is going to be a low scoring game for you. Um, it should be cards left over because cards are so important to everything you do in this game. So it should be the tiebreaker as cards left over in hand. In which case, that would have been you as a tiebreaker because you took your last. I took. To take I took card. four. Yeah. So, I I think it, the taking cards action is a weaker action, but necessary. It's necessary because it's you need it in order to do garrison. Who's the building and for the military right. strength? Right. Um. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. So, so I think that might have been a better tiebreaker, but I see what you're saying. I. It, it's hard with citadels because you don't want to be the first one in a citadel because then somebody else can just go in and take that cool bonus that you're giving them. So it's like you're opening it up to like... Well, on a two-player game. Three-player game, there's three spots available. No, I know. On but... on two of the citadels. Yeah, so it's... it's I don't know, it's tough. That's for sure. I, but I would try with more people too. I, I just... I don't want military to be an unwinnable strategy. I don't think it is but i worry i think it's also depending it on the goal cards there, there's a ton of goal cards that we did not even see oh, in this game so you know it's most of these were building related they were and i intentionally chose something that wasn't going to be doing a lot of building right so it, it's just a matter of yeah the cards didn't fall out for you but yeah if they were military related yeah the military would be stronger so i think it, that's where the balancing is for sure and doing that so yeah in any case i'm but, uh, glad that we can play it oh absolutely uh but and i'm i'm totally glad that i tried the military strategy because it's like hey could i could i get the four cubes out right uh, also i think that that one pity point here is also a little bit of a catch-up thing to try, sort of kind of balance the military guy against the the uh citadel building girl or the you know I think everyone tends to will eventually recruit. So I think that that's neither here nor there. I think that there's basically citadels and military. So yeah, but yeah, um, it is it is super interesting and does it does have a a lot of puzzly aspects that I do enjoy. So um, definitely something to check out if you enjoy games like this. Then you will probably enjoy. Kel's day. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So, um, any final words on this? No. So that's Kelte from uh, Pythagoras Games. And hey, if you enjoyed this teach and playthrough, actually just the playthrough because the teach is on the video down below. So if you enjoyed this playthrough and you enjoy uh, videos that will walk you through uh, all of the interesting points of a game, then hey, come uh, check out our other videos and follow us on twitch.tv slash boardgamersdeath. Every Wednesday and Sunday night, we play three games every night at 5 p.m. Central. So hey, come join us on Twitch where we play all, all the, the games. games. That's right. And for those on Twitch, we will be right back.